What is going on everyone? It is Codextral here, back with another video, and this is actually really awesome because if you guys want to add your own lens with any avatar tune character that you want, this video will show you how. So you want to go on lensstudio.snapchat.com, download it uh, for the uh, editor here, and it's actually really simple to do, like really, really simple to do. Um, a monkey can do it. And after you get that downloaded and installed, the second site I recommend is using models-resources.com. I already have my model picked out, so it's the uh, Master Chief here. Let's go ahead and download the zip archive. So as soon as you find your model, um, we're going to move on to Mix Ammo, which is, I already have uh, it pre-rendered here, but we're going to go ahead and upload the character. So, two, uh, three things. You can upload the whole zip file that we just downloaded, which we're about to do, but you need to make sure it has FBX, the file extension, or the OBJ um, inside this zip uh, archive here. So, if we open up and we go towards our folder... And it will say .obj. So if it has .obj .obj file in there or a .dot uh, .fbx, then chances are that model is good and it's a good rendered uh, model. Some models actually have those file extensions, and some might not work. But so you just kind of have to pick and choose around until you get a good one. So right now I'm using the uh, Master Chief and this actually works great with the mix ammo thing. Goodness. So after we get that process through, it might take a second, might take five minutes. It just really all depends on the server and how fast your computer can process things. So we see the head. Now we're going to go ahead and um, work on getting it corrected here. So it's facing us the right way. Oh crap. <laughs> And okay, almost there, almost there. There we go. Okay, so now um, my model is looking at me and it looks normal. Sweet. Go ahead and hit next. And right here is the circle, so we gotta actually have to match it. So the chin goes with the chin. Uh, the wrist goes with the wrist. Make sure everything is symmetrical. If your model is not symmetrical, then you're going to have a little bit of a problem. And we got the elbows. Uh, the elbows are right about here. So his knees right about there. And his groin, the BP area. So we're going to go ahead and put that right there. And we're going to hit next. So all this looks good. So go ahead and hit next. Now it's going to go... Um, auto riggering so it could take up to two minutes it may take shorter than that so just bear with it sweet now everything that is in order so we have our model looking around that's what your character will look do by default just go ahead and hit next and this is a little warning for me this one won't show up for you because i already have a character uh i was working on um previously so that's why it came up with we're just gonna go ahead and hit next and right now he is a boxing who are you boxing but you can choose all of these presets here um, if you want your character dancing or if you want your character to do a certain motion you can but but ugh, excuse me but we're going to be working with the boxing here so as soon as you select your preset go ahead and hit download and you want everything at the default selections so your format .fbx your skin with skin 30 frames per second and the keyframe reduction none go ahead and hit download now it's going to go towards our download folder and we can go ahead and work on the studio here the lens studio so let's go ahead and minimize that so the lens studio is on my desktop with that shortcut i'm going to go ahead and open it up and i'm going to maximize it so you are looking for the animated object right here the raccoon with the tube and he's dancing and he's happy and he has what boxing gloves on Okay, well, anyways, go ahead and click on him, and it's loading up project, and now what we got to do is you can go ahead and delete that panda, and just keep these ones here, go towards your file, import, and into your downloads folder, so don't mind any of this stuff here, uh, downloads folder, do, 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 do. Okay, now it says boxing.fbx. Go ahead and uh, hit open, and our character is right there. So if your character is too large, what you can do is hit the boxing, or if yours is dancing, whatever it is, it will pop up right here um, with the name of it. And you can hit the scale, 
and you can decrease the size or increase the size on X, Y, and Z. Um, note, some models will be so small that it didn't even pop up and you actually have to zoom in and make sure you delete that red panda and you zoom in and the model's right there and you definitely have to increase it by hitting back on boxing um, or it might even say dancing or whatever preset that you choose of what motion um, you, you choose. Then you go to scale, then at the bottom here, so X, Y, or Z, and Z, and you have to increase it. Make sure it's all... Uh, all shaped out but right here we have it good I like it where it's at so next thing is what if you want to um, have a little sneak preview of your character on your phone very simple so let me go ahead and bring up my phone onto the screen now uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. so I'm bringing up my iPhone and I want to mirror this there we go so let's move this a little bit towards the left and uh, move that on down. We're gonna go towards our Snapchat now. And on the top right, so on the, look at the mouse. On the top right, it'll say, let's push your lens. So now it's sending lens and it will pop up with a QR code for you. And um, if it does that, um, I already synchronized my lens. So it will pop up with a QR code right here. All you gotta do is on your phone, hold it down in the empty area with your finger and this little circle will pop up. Now you wanna go ahead and scan the QR code that will pop up right here. Um, I already scanned my QR code and that's why it's um, um, already synch synchronized. So we're gonna go ahead and choose the uh, this little icon right here and guess what? Our Master Chief just popped up. So if you guys don't like the size of your model, again, you can resize it to whatever your preferences is. And right now, it doesn't even show that he is boxing. So how do we get that animation on? So let's go ahead and move that towards the left. I'll keep uh, my phone on. You want to select World Object Controller, and you want to scroll down just a little bit. And it'll say Animation Mixer right here. So you select that, how it says None. So it's boxing, and you hit OK. Now, on the uh, uh, idle animation layer, you're going to go ahead and get rid of that and go ahead and type in layer dot zero. And now you can see your model is uh, boxing. So if we move towards our uh, model back on the phone. Oh, <laughs> so I just got to I kind of got to keep the screen off. So we're going to go ahead and reload them. Oops. Just definitely took a picture. So let's go ahead and reload it. Oops. Okay, so it's still not reloading. Let's go ahead and push the lens again so it just updated. Okay, so that's what we had to do is just push the lens again so it updates. Now, as you can see, the uh, model is fighting on towards my Blue Yeti microphone. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my phone we're gonna move this towards the side so I'm just letting you know you can go into a developer mode on with your phone and it works with the Android or or yeah and on Android and iPhone next thing is if you want music um, all you gotta do is hit add component hit audio and scroll down and it'll say uh, choose the audio track so you click on that and you click add new you're going to import the file and you're going to be looking for your, um, your, your song. A little bit about the, the file size. The whole lens, it has to be 4 megabytes or lower. So definitely make sure that your audio file is definitely lower than, I would say, respectfully, 3 megabytes or lower. So now that we have the song in, go ahead and hit OK. Now it will say Auto Loop. So you go ahead and hit that. And guess what? It's now playing. Dun, 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 dun. I am so off tempo. So if you want to mute the song, all you got to do is go right there and you can toggle the mute. Um, so you can still edit your uh, model and whatnot. If you want to go ahead and play the music, just go ahead and unmute it. But uh, we're going to leave it muted. So now how do we actually publish this on towards our phone and get it on Snapchat? So you go towards the uh, file here. You go to Submit Lens. 
see how it says the size is uh, 4.69 so that's because the file uh, the audio file is too big so that means we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that sadly but you know um, for the sake of the video let's just say it's already added and whatnot is already there but uh, we're gonna pretend you know so we're gonna go back to the file and we go ahead and submit lens and so my lenses will pop up. You will want to log in. So mine is code actual. Feel free to add me. Uh, let me go ahead and put in my password. And I am not a robot. And go ahead and hit log in. So you're authorizing this lens. So the Snapchat staff people will uh it took up to five minutes for this to be approved on my uh, previous object um it says animated object f uh for me um that's because i didn't save it we're just gonna go ahead and submit it but um um even the previous one said animated object so this one this one's my sonic one uh, we're gonna go ahead and disactivate that if you want to share it there's gonna be a share button that you can send it to all your friends and there's gonna be a QR code that will scan it um, we're gonna go ahead and hit the exit out to actually name your file you know just go to your project info and name it through there then you just hit apply so it was uh, halo 2 master chief so, chi. Oh, it's not letting me put the F. Okay, well, we're going to pretend that there is an F. So, right now, it's the Halo 2 Master Chief, and that's where you put the project info. Then, make sure you always save as. Then, submit it. Then, um, it will say Halo 2 Master Chief and instead of animated object. So, that is it, ladies and gentlemen, and other identifying genders. Um, I hope that this video is very helpful to you. If you guys uh, like the video, you know, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me grow. It'll help you grow. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to put a 2D model in. It's going to be fairly simple how this one was. So, everyone, I will see you in the next video and uh, take care. Peace.